Yo, happy Strength Side Friday. Today is all about loosening up the body, getting more flexible by using this beautiful, beautiful ground. So three simple movements that'll help you gain mobility in the hips, the shoulders, and the spine. These are clips straight out of our full guided routine. This is like a 20 minute follow along routine. If you want that, check out guided. First link in description. Guys, I want to talk less and I wanna to get to this. Let's go. We're gonna start with going into our 90-90 position here. And then we're just going to do some rotations to the other side. And just really try to feel these hips rotate here, right? We open up. This one moves into internal, this one moves into external. Try to get both those hip bones sitting on the ground. And we just really easy moving back and forth. We're just warming up here, getting those hips all juicy and lubricated and whatnot, right? So now, feel good. You can start to do this rotation without using your hands like so once again really try to just feel that rotation coming through the hips this can be hard to go no hands if you don't quite have the the uh the range of motion here from the hips so feel free to keep the hands down i started with doing the hands down on these for a long long time it took me a little while to get to where i could do this smooth with the hands up just take your time there Cool, okay. So next one we're gonna do is a stretch that I really love. I don't use it enough, to be honest. You're gonna lay down on your back like, or sorry, on your chest like so. And I want the elbows a little bit higher than the chest and the shoulder is, right? And now I'm gonna take one leg and I'm going to rotate my leg over my body. And as I do this, I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna see if I could touch that foot to the ground. You don't, definitely don't need to if you don't have that range there. But you're gonna feel a big stretch through your chest and through your spine, right? We're just gonna go side to side. Feel yourself open up here. Feel that spine rotate, feel the hip open and the, and the chest open. If you want a little bit more, as I rotate to this left side, I'm gonna press my elbow and my hand down into the ground. That makes me activate the chest as it's being stretched. That's going to let essentially signal to your body that you really have this range of motion and it's gonna let that stretch stick around in your body. One more on each side. I'm gonna pause on this last one. Took a couple of deep breaths here. You'll really feel this hip open the more you do this. And you'll really feel that chest open as well. Okay. Oh yes, love that one. So, for some of you guys this will come very natural. For some people, it's very, very challenging. So what we're gonna start with is we'll move into this backward fold. Just support your hips here with your hands, right? So for some people, this is a really hard position to get in. So try to just get comfortable here. And now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn one ear down and then I'm gonna bring my legs to the side that my head is facing, okay? So it's gonna look like this. I'm here, I turn my ear and my legs come to this side and now I wait onto my right shoulder, come back. Turn my ear, weights in my left shoulder. So now this is gonna lead us into just doing a backwards roll, a backwards shoulder roll, right? So this isn't a somersault where you would go straight down the spine. This is safer because we get the head out of the way. So we're gonna be rolling across the shoulder, all right? If you're getting comfortable with bringing your legs to the side and loading the shoulder, then really all we have to do is just bring those knees to the ground Keep that shoulder down until more weight is in your legs. Boom, we just did a backwards shoulder roll, all right? So take it really slow like that if this is your first time doing this. So I come back, legs straight. I bring them to my left side. My left ear goes to the ground and 
I find this nice tucked position here. So now let's see if we can start making it a little bit smoother. So we come back here straight, go to my right shoulder and I get there a little bit quicker this time. Let's do that again on the left side, come back straight and I move through a bit quicker. The next step to make this all flow nicely is to skip going straight back just to move the legs right to that side and then to get into our kneeling facing forward position quicker smoother i come here going right over my shoulder boom there we are now this is challenging right don't get frustrated if you can't get this right away now i'm going over my left shoulder so i know legs are going to go to the left left shoulder is going to get planted left ear gets planted boom and this is so fun to play with so feel free to do this whenever you're chilling chilling out and you feel like doing some rolling, all right? Now, you can also integrate our kneeling position into this. So, this right hip's gonna hit, right shoulder, legs go over. Here we are. We'll do it from this side, here. Cool. The great thing about these movements is that you can start feeling better. You can do these right now. You don't need any equipment. You just need some lovely, lovely ground. Be sure to do these back rolls on a soft surface to start carpet, grass, something like this. Yummy, yummy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. What's up guys? It's about 9 a.m. here in Texas. Already super hot. I think my forehead's already starting to sweat. Just making some coffee, about to take Shiloh out for a little bike ride, which is really like, the best part of my day in a, in a sense. And then I'm gonna mess around with a little bit of training. I sprained my ankle pretty badly and it's slow to heal. So in the meantime, I'm doing more handstands and stuff like that. If you haven't checked out the five year handstand progression, we'll click that, we'll click it on the screen. We'll put it on the screen somewhere you can click it. So yeah, about to get into that. It's been interesting dealing with an injury. I haven't had an injury in a while. It's been quite some time. So, uh, you know, injuries suck, but in a way they also open a lot of different doors and they, they teach you a lot, right? So I'll talk more about that in the future. If you guys are interested, comment below. Also from this video, uh, what's your favorite movement? Comment below what you wanna get into. Uh, a lot of these movements aren't super popular, so it might be your first time seeing some of them. And if you're trying out that back roll, I wanna hear how it went. Shalita, you wanna go on a walk? Oh yeah. Ready? really funny every time we go for a bike ride she gets really tired and she finds her way into the closet because it's nice and cool in here huh <laughs> just started checking out this uh jordan peterson's new book beyond order it gets a bit wordy at times but uh just read this this morning i think it's it's i think it relates to the movement practice and to uh physical culture a lot and it's on humility. It is better to presume ignorance and invite learning than to assume sufficient knowledge and risk the consequent blindness. Yeah, man, beginner's mind, learn all the time, invite new things in. It is much better to make friends with what you do not know than to make friends with what you do know, as there is an infinite supply of the former, but a finite stock of the latter. Yeah, invite new stuff in. Love it. Yeah, little morning reading. On the five year handstand journey video, someone asked if I can walk on my hands and I was like, that's a good question because uh, in the last five years, I haven't spent a lot of time uh, walking on the hands and I think it's like a really cool skill, but I've spent most of my time just doing static handstands. So right now I've been kind of working on that and warming up with it a lot. So here we go. So I've been working on these handstand pirouettes where you basically just do a little turning in the handstand. So 180 is, is becoming easier, 360 pretty hard. Let's see what I can do here. 
at the fire we both ah. nah. shitty, shitty. Every day. Hand spin journey. Any of you B boys, comment your suggestions. Your advice is below. If you're not already subscribed to Strength Side, all you have to do is something like press or like click or you know on that subscribe button hit that like button of course why wouldn't you and we drop videos every single friday wednesdays too so stay glued tune in get flexible get strong move more hey as always i'll see you in the next one